hey guys welcome back once again to my youtube channel let's say it like that channel for those of you that don't know me hi i am marilisa nice to meet you follow me on instagram the link will be down below okay let's get into this because i feel like this video is gonna be kind of long let's just get into it because i don't i don't, I don't want to chit chat so on today's video we're gonna be doing the what's in my hospital I'm excited i'm excited for this and some of you might wonder wait why is she doing this thing so early I'm like girl just like just wait a little bit right but i have to explain this in order for you guys to understand why i'm doing this so early two things before i was even 30 weeks pregnant they did told me that because of my weight and the baby's weight we are overweight together and i am gaining too much weight which that's not good and the second thing is that last time i went to my sono at my 31 weekend probably five days um sono follow-up they told me that the baby is like the the baby's weight is not its average size it had four weeks ahead on weight and on size of the baby like the weight and size of the baby is like two, um four weeks ahead of him meaning that the baby's too big <laughs> what they told me is that two things can happen the baby from 31 weeks all the way till like the 40 39 weeks the baby might like level up to his timing and and weight and size or the baby was gonna keep growing to the point where i would have to be induced or i was gonna go into labor before 39 weeks they told me like just in case you never know have everything ready because the baby's too big when they told me that <laughs> i went a little bit crazy because i was like with scarlet i didn't have to worry about like weight or size or nothing like that because she was like a really average baby when she was born she was like seven pounds 16 ounce whatever but now i was like with this baby they're telling me, like you better have everything ready girl because you never know what could happen because you're having a huge baby but that might change so now i'm in the point where i was like I i'm like no let me just have everything ready that way i don't have to worry about like what ifs so let's get into the video let's see what we have in here yeah let's just let, let's just go into the video and let's let's see what's in my hospital bag oh and for those of you that that don't know i already have a toddler okay so i went through this already i went through this already so let's just get into it. Like I mentioned before, I already went through this. I'm going to give birth in the same hospital where I gave birth to Scarlett. So I kind of already know like what they give, how it is, like how's the the stay going to be this out of the third before anything. At the hospital, they provide they provided me with everything I needed, with everything I needed. So this time, I'm going to go minimal. I'm not gonna waste money. I'm not gonna buy things that I know for a fact I'm gonna have at the hospital. That's that won't that won't be smart. It's gonna look like I don't have a lot to take, but it's because in my head I'm like they're gonna give it they're gonna give it to me at the hospital. So what's the point of me bringing even more stuff? Plus when you know like when when I left the hospital and when you leave the hospital, they give like a bunch of stuff. So it's like you need space. To take everything they give you as well so that's why with this baby i was like you know what i'm not gonna take a diaper bag my bag a daddy's bag or the no i'm not gonna do all of that i'm gonna do the minimum i'm gonna take my a small luggage because when i had scarlet i i took like a a tote bag like a, a like a like a travel bag and i didn't like it because sometimes i had to put it on the floor because we didn't have space like where scarlett's dad was like was staying and my mom was there too so it's like i had to put like my stuff on the floor so this time i was like no let's get something that i'm able to put on the floor and if you know like it's easy to clean or like it goes on the floor <laughs> so i was like let me just use my small luggage let's get into it so we have the nursing pillow now i do have the donut i have the donut so i don't know if i'm gonna take this one or the donut one but for now for now i'm saying that i'm gonna take this one since i don't know as of now if i'm gonna have a c-section or a vaginal delivery so 
let's see how that goes and then if anything changes changes then i'm gonna just leave it here like under a comment or anything but nursing pillow pff, we need this this is i'm not gonna leave this behind then we have okay this one is gonna be and i feel like some some people might come for me some people might come for me but hear me out even when i'm on period i like to feel tight como que I, I like to feel really comfortable and secure so that's why when i gave it to scarlet i asked her nurse if she could get me like a, a waistband and she gave me one and it was the best thing i ever did because everything was going smooth everything was good like i was good since the second day i gave birth i'm gonna stay in the hospital for three days so mind you that i found this i don't know if you could see it right let me see i found this and it actually has i've been using it because it, it helped me a lot because my belly is is big so it is really heavy and this helped me a lot honey so it brings three i'm thinking that when i get out like when i give birth i want to use this one this one is like the really sensitive one it's just like you know just like to hold your your um your stomach it's not tight it's like it's really loose so since i did that with scarlet and it was a it was really good like i felt comfortable with it it didn't bother me at all i had the green light of the doctor's of the doctor and nurse that was there telling me like oh it's okay if you use it but don't use it tight at all so i'm gonna use that one if they let me again because we do, we still don't know then we have my little this is a makeup bag actually but i turn it into my little toilet 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 trees so in here we have we have the normal now in the hospital they do give everything in the hospital i'm gonna stay they give Ooh. everything out but i don't like the wipes they give um even like for the baby and well the wipes are for the baby but i use it for me i really don't like the brand of wipes pampers pampers wipes i don't like that brand so i'm gonna take only one one pack of these wipes deodorant my toothpaste personal hygiene stuff um the the thing for the breasts they give it again but these these bring like some gel in it which i like i bought these cream this cream even though in the hospital they give you the 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 spray they give you everything like they give you a, a, a bag of like all that i fell in love with this cream i actually need to get him my baby his nail um filler the thing with clippers because something people don't say is how newborns have the most dangerous nails of all humanity <laughs> it's like they come out of there and if you don't be careful if you don't cut them if they don't wear mittens if they don't mm -mm, girl they're gonna scratch them they're just gonna scratch their, their face so it's like with scarlet she ruined her um her her baby picture her first picture that they took at the hospital because she had a huge scratch even though she was wearing mittens because i always put mint on on my kid um but for this one i was like you know what let me just take the nail clipper and um, nail feathers and let's just you know cut it if they come too too long because it's, it's not gonna take forever so this is a must nursing cover-up because i don't know if visitors are gonna be allowed because of everything that's going on but when i have scarlet it's like oh my god i feel like in this video the most repeated words when i had scarlet when i had scarlet when i had scarlet but that's my experience um when i had visitors over and i had a breastfeed I had to have my titties out and that was like pretty uncomfortable you know what i'm trying to say so it's like this time i was like you know what let me just bring my 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 nursing um cover like you know that way i don't have that problem and if i use it i use it and if i don't i don't it's so okay we're done with this baggie again my personal stuff things that they don't give at the hot well they did they do give at the hospital but things that I need <laughs> let me put it right back because i'm not about to make a mess okay now in this bag we have 
and I don't want to show everything because if I show everything, it's going to be too much. So, so I have my brush. I have a little mirror. Even though in the hospital, they do have a mirror in the bathroom. But I'm not going to be standing to the bathroom just to fix myself. My little lip scrub. My, my powder. A little bit of concealer. My lip gloss. Brush. Things like that hair thingies like hair clips um hair band things like that things that are to make me feel pretty you know i'm just taking it looks like a lot but it's because of the brush and something else that i'm taking but um is like i'm i am taking these things but i haven't put them in here because i feel like i could get like the hospital is like 20 25 minute drive from my house and it's like it's really close by like target and and like tj maxx and like all those stuff so it's pretty easy for me to get these things like these are not like things that i need like in a rush you know these are things that i could get like on my way to the hospital or i could tell um patrick to just like go and buy it for me things like that you know which is my slippers i am gonna take slippers but i'm thinking about this one and it's because in the hospital I was mostly in the hospital um, socks that they give. I like it. You know, like, it was it was more comfortable for me. Even though in the hospital that I'm going to stay at, they do provide some slippers. But I feel like they're so thin that it's like, it feels like you're just walking on bare foot. It's like, I'm not that crazy on getting slippers. Like, oh yes, I need slippers fast, fast, fast. But I do want to take, take them because um, in the hospital, they provide um, classes like... Uh, car seat and how, how not to put your baby to sleep and those type of classes so it's like you do have to walk to those classes because they don't give it to you like at, in your room so that would be like the only times that i'm gonna be wearing slippers so i do um i am gonna get slippers now the thing with underwear is i feel like again since i do not know if i'm gonna have a c-section or a vaginal delivery i don't know if i should buy myself on the side some underwear because it's like i don't want to take underwears that i have because you're going to be bleeding and you're going to be uncomfortable started i took my underwear and when i gave birth the underwears were too big on me so i had to wear what i had to wear what the hospital gave me provided me so i feel like that's what i'm gonna do for now for now i'm i am gonna buy like one or two probably but i'm gonna use the one from the hospital I'm not going to waste money on all that. Then we have the like charger, computer, um, not computer, but the camera. <laughs> um, I'm going to take that too, like my charger, my, not my headphones. Because even though, even though they're like, oh, take something to entertain yourself, you're, you're already entertaining, you're already drained <laughs> of tiredness. So it's like you're not going to have no, no class. Of, well, me, me, of course, me, 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 me. Um, I didn't have no energy when I had Scarlett to be like listening to music or reading a book or none of that. I didn't have no time. I was, no, I was so tired. It's like any moment that Scarlett fell asleep, I would be knocked out. Knocked out. So, um, I'm just going to take my camera, of course, because I want to film the experience of it. And the chargers and like my phone chargers. Yeah, that those type of things. What else? Um, health insurance and ID. Of course, I need to take that. Duh. Oh, this this one this one get a big cup of ice like like a gallon because you're gonna be you're gonna be really thirsty well i was i was really thirsty so i'm gonna take my gallon <laughs> of like the water bottle i'm gonna take a big one because me as of me alone me not being pregnant me i'm always thirsty i drink water like crazy like i, I drink water and I'm not talking about like your six cup of water a day. I'm talking about like your 12 bottle of water a day. I drink water. So when I give birth, it was even worse. So I had to be asking the nurse. Like she, I even had two little um, containers of the one they give of water with ice. And it was still not enough. So I feel like I'm going to take like one that I could drink from. But it will, I, I, like that way I don't have to ask constantly the nurse like, oh, can I get some water and ice? Can I get some water and ice? Can I get some water and ice? Another thing, the baby's coming home outfit. I haven't found something that I like. It's like, I don't know what to do because it's like a coming home outfit. It's like the first time you're introduced 
you're introducing your baby to the world so your baby needs to look cute you know what i mean like matching like super cute this that and the third well even though it's not introducing your baby to the world but your baby is he's gonna be in the world so i, I feel like you need to make a special outfit you know what i'm trying to say so i still haven't found one because i want my baby to come all white and remember that i was talking in my previous video that there was this one piece that i really love for scarlett to come out of the uh, for my baby to come out of the hospital with that's not gonna happen because of the weather i'm taking this towel with me because i will feel embarrassed if i had a little i'm just taking this towel just because don't listen to me this one this dress is actually really easy if i want to breastfeed you know what i mean this is a breastfeeding little gown you know what i mean now remember when i said that in the hospital they provide you with everything i'm gonna take this nursing um little dress because again when i have visitors i don't want to be in a in the hospital gown um every single day i'm gonna be staying there for three days once again so it's like when they go and take the pictures too i don't want to be in the same exact um like in the hospital gown because when i had scarlet i had to take the gown and like put it like up to here like for me to cover it up and when you're pregnant you you have skin discoloration and all that stuff so it was like i felt a little bit ugly you know so it's like i don't want that to happen again so i'm taking that dress this is my going home outfit which is actually um, way too comfortable and i would say a little bit tight but the thing is that again i like to when i'm like sick or like going through a procedure like that i like feeling tight i like feeling that my body is held i'm just gonna take like these um sweatpants with this nursing shirt that is like you can it's really easy for clip and clip a gray one nothing crazy and then a little sweater now when it comes to bras this is the thing when i had scarlet I, well when i had scarlet i didn't take um the nursing the nursing bra with me like i didn't take one with me at all the hospital gave me like a little it wasn't a bra but it was like a bralette but without like the strings without the strap i just like i was just wearing that with the little thing that they give like to cover from the milk leakage whatever you have and i was comfortable with that so it's like because of that i don't ha i don't have the need to take like two sports bra and like all that type of thing because the hospital does provide with a lot of things like the hospital i'm staying at it it does provide me with a lot of things so i don't feel like again i don't feel the need to take so many things with me so it's like i'm just taking this so um let's say if i have to go to one of the classes or like if they're gonna take a picture or if like visitors come if visitors are allowed or like if i want to change like my coming home outfit and i just want to have like the sports bra with the sweater on i'm just gonna use it <laughs> so that's all for what's in my hospital bag that's all for what's in my hospital bag and again i do have to buy some stuff but i'm not gonna make it a huge deal you know what i'm trying to say um the thing that i'm most worried about is that i don't have my baby going home outfit yet and that's the one thing that i'm like no i do want to have it already like i want to have everything and i'm not taking like no blankets or pillows or like um sheets i'm not taking none of that because or like a rope nothing like that because again the hospital provides with everything in the hospital when i needed like a, an extra pillow they got me like two extra pillows when i told them that i was cold they came with five freaking sheets and you know um and they have like blankets there too in the hospital i'm gonna stay at so i don't feel the need to bring like all that type of stuff but if you have to then you take it that's about it what else am i forgetting that's all i'm gonna take i hope you understand my point of view and I hope you like this video. I'm gonna leave it till here because I'm already out of breath. I'm I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna knock out right now because I'm tired. This has been too much talking, and my subscribers do not like long videos, honey. So this is it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was hopeful to you, even though all the things that I'm gonna take off for my convenience. <laughs> Okay, so bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.